Hey guys, this is Anastasia, and this is my video for uh, Wednesday, um, October 19th, 2016. Um, last week I kind of fell behind with my uploading videos every Wednesday, Thursday, and then one during the weekend. So, seeing as that was my only second week for uploading videos in that way, um, I need to get back on track. Um, tonight would normally be a crafting video, but I actually am off to a class tonight, so that is actually how I am. I'm taking my practice into account tonight is by studying. And that kind of got me thinking. For my Samhain dedication, um, not only am I going to be doing a release ritual to try to release all the juju that I kind of keep and these memories that I keep, um having and things that I kind of keep in a way beating myself up on. Um, I mean, going back as far as like high school with just these memories and decisions I made and mistakes that I've made. Um, last Saturday I was in a full moon circle and I had this amazing vision of how, and it, it was all these different faces. It was all these different things. Um, but it was all her. And at the end uh, of the, the circle, it, it just felt like this massive need for and of acceptance. And it made sense because that's kind of what I've been feeling anyway. Um, my witchy sister in arms brought it up and it really clicked for me. Um, we did the divination and that's also kind of what came up was the acceptance and moving on and taking these gifts that I have and not really being able to tap into them or utilize them without first accepting, yes, the mistakes that I've made, but also the good things that I have done and then moving on, genuinely giving these past issues a death cycle, putting them to rest, yes, carrying the lessons that I've learned from them on, but not constantly unearthing them to relive things that I'm not not pleased with, things that I wish I wouldn't have done. It's good to remember the past, but not necessarily healthy to carry it with you always. Um, I, I hope that makes sense. So that is the major part of my uh, Samhain personal um, ritual uh, thing that I'm going to be doing and that I'm actually planning on doing on November 7th which is the cross quarter day for Samhain this year in the Midwest Central Time Zone I believe it's like 5 42 p.m. <laughs> I found it on online um but every year I also take up a dedication uh year before last was seeking I I just wanted to get out there find the pagan community online, find the pagan community in real life, like at home, and, and just kind of see where I fit in and see what happened and, and what, what niche I might be able to find uh, for myself. And then um, last year was about transformation. And good, bad, or ugly, I definitely have seen and felt massive transformations in my life wish a bit more of the physical transformation with the losing of weight, but that didn't quite happen. But I'm still, <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, transformation, I, I definitely still, it, it's an eternal thing. It's always there, just like seeking is always there. But it's just, it was a year that I focused on it. And this upcoming year, the dedication that I'm going to be giving myself is, it, it's kind of in the same vein as seeking, but it is going to be knowledge. Um, it is going to be the year where I do just grab, I want to buy a, a book from some, in some way, shape, or form, well, no, I want to buy a book, um, every paycheck, uh, something new. Um, my witchy sister in arms was like, do you have any books on this, this, and this? And I'm like, I don't have books on anything aside from the ones that you've gifted me for Yule, sweetie. I got nothing. Amazing book she gave me on sigils. Absolutely adore it. 
Um, I've got a book on tarot. I lied, I did buy myself a tarot book. And uh, just a, a couple other ones. Uh, she got me a book on the Northern tradition um, to connect with hell when I found her as my matron. And she also bought me a book of Celtic mythology. She, my library right now is pretty much built on my dear friend. Um, oh, and Ray got me a, a pagan prayer book, which is awesome. An incense making book, which was very cool. Just a bunch of cool, uh, both of them <laughs> are why I have a library at all. Um, but I really want to start building a library. Start reading a book just to read it, not because I'm planning a candle or planning a, or trying to work out a personal ritual for me to work or finding correspondences for such and such a deity. I mean, those are bo great books to have because I will always be a correspondence freak. Gonna happen. I'm okay with it. But I want to be able to sit down with a book and read a book to expand my knowledge just to expand my knowledge not for a specific purpose if that makes sense like not for a specific not for oh crap at the end of the week i need to have this candle done this incense done and and this you know spell craft of some sort done so i need to hurry up and study these correspondences so i can write it down in my little notebook and have it so that one day i'll transfer it to a book of shadows I, I want to sit down with with books to expand knowledge just for the sake of expanding knowledge. I want to have books that I can lend to people. I want to have I want to have a library is what it comes down to. Um, I have some amazing friends that are very interested in in certain aspects of of my belief structure and I can tell them but I'd like them to look if, if they're genuinely interested in paganism I would like them to find it out on their own and granted the way I look at studying and educating ourselves and learning is yes we have a community and I like that we can draw on our community I love that we can draw on that community but I think when something calls to you genuinely calls to you you seek it out. Um, when something resonates with you, not only do you feel it and just go, wow, that's something for me. That, that sounds awesome. But you run with it. You, it becomes, for me at least, it becomes an obsession of sorts. Um, I remember, oh, goodness gracious. Uh, Heather Honeywine, I believe. I could be wrong on that. Uh, a woman at uh, Paganicon a couple years ago who spoke about Freya and, and really is one of the reasons, if not the reason, that I really hunkered down to find my goddess and it actually led me to finding my god. <laughs> um, uh, she, she spoke about Freya as consuming her when she first learned about her and that is me about anything regarding the craft that resonates with me once something resonates with me i want to seek it out and find it out regardless that um even if it's other deities even though i know they're not my deity um they're they're not my goddess they're not you know calling to me to work for them it's just something about them is just so interesting to me and really resonates with me. I have to seek that out. And granted, they could easily become my goddess or, or my god. I'm never shutting that door. Um, but I think that's how paganism, at, at least from my experience, is. And if something calls to you and like, huh, I want to learn more about that, you should be able to get up off your butt and go find it on your own and figure it out. Um, find it out for you, not just what I tell you or what anyone tells you. Um, I think we're all good references. I think it's great because we can find out about, about each other's paths and what resonates for one person, what resonates to another. And I think for the most part in the Pangy community, we're all really understanding that what works for one person isn't going to necessarily work for another. 
and what's right for one person. My experience with hell is going to be completely different from anyone else's. My experience with Cronunos is probably completely different from anyone else's. But it doesn't make it not valid. Um, the point I'm trying to make is I like, I, I look forward to having a book that I can give to someone and say, here, this actually illustrates X, Y, and Z beautifully. Read it. Tell me what you think. Um, that way you can look at what I looked at. And when I looked at it, I got X, Y, and Z. When you look at it, you could get A, B, and C, like something that's very different because it resonates with us differently. And, and I think that's true of all studying in paganism. I think it's very difficult. And, and maybe it's just where I'm at in my path. I'm definitely still very much a student. Um, by no means could I teach anyone else. Like, the whole, like, when you start getting into, like, study groups and um, covens and things like that, it's like, I can't imagine having that kind of responsibility. Like, here, I'm going to tell you how to do this, this, and this. I'm going to tell you why this, this, and this happens. I, I'm not that person. I, I don't think I'll ever be that chick. It's just not me. But I like the idea of being like, uh, of having conversations, of having dialogues, of here is a book. Let me give it to you. Now you read it. Okay, now that you've read it, this is what I thought this was saying. What do you think? You think it was saying this? That's awesome. Let's talk about that. Um, so yeah, I, I guess... This turn, turned into such a ramble session. I'm so sorry. I had a very concise point I was going to make because I need to hurry up and rush off to class. But um, I guess my point is when all is said and done, I'm really looking for, I, this is more of kind of a, a path sharing, I guess, for the night. Um, I'm really excited about next year, uh, about building my library, building my knowledge, building a bit more of a personal time between me and the God and the goddess, a, a bit more of a personal quiet in my practice. Um, cause a lot of my practice right now is even when I'm, when I'm studying now, it's research. It is pointed. It has a purpose. It is focused. It is driven. That's probably the best word I can use. It is driven. And Anyone who sees me craft will <laughs> can attest to this. It's, okay, so I've got this. You know what would be cool if it was this color? Because this color means this and this. Although this color would be cool too. And I think around the bottom, I, I'm making a candle in my mind right now because I've got one that I just poured. And then on the bottom, I'm going to have, you know, uh, maybe this stone and this stone and maybe some rose petals because I just figured out how to do that on a candle. I really like the look of that. Now I'm going to do a cascade. It's not really a drip. It's more of a pouring over. So it kind of has this cascade look. I really like that. And then I'm going to use this color. And it, it, it all is very boom, 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 boom. Frantic, almost. Uh, hurried is probably an even better adjective. And I really, I, I think while that is very good, um, when you craft, it, it's good to be pointed and have these concise ideas and be able to think it out and work it out for yourself. Um, I look like I'm doing karate, um, but I, I'm really excited for having my Wednesdays and Thursdays, especially, um, those are the two days I'm really going to make time for reading. I'm um, just given the correspondences, but, um, I, I just look forward to having books that I can choose from and I can look at and, and go back to at a later date once I'm further down my path and seeing where they measure up now. I think that's also very important in our path. You know, where I was, my witchy sister and I were commenting on this at our Maybon circle, uh, where we were even just last year to now is light years different. And it's so cool to see that. And and, and, and I think looking at past books, my grandfather was always big on writing little notes and pencil on the margin. And I do the same thing. And I, I look forward to that. So yeah, I guess this is a 15 minute ramble session about uh, just excitement about my path. And the next turn it will take. Blessed be.